Hi, I'm Gatti Combos and welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to build a wool farm in Minecraft 1.16. This farm is really good and compact and you can easily make it bigger by making it longer or wider. First of all, we're going to take a look on what materials we will need, but then I'm going to show you how to build this farm. Let's get into it. The materials you need to build this farm is 64 chest, 32 hoppers, 32 rails, 32 carts with hopper, 64 grass blocks, 2 stacks of building blocks, 32 redstone dust, 32 dispensers, 32 observers, 4 stacks of glass blocks, 32 sheep that you can bring with leads, dye color to apply on a sheep to get the wool you would like. Now it's time to find a good location for your farm so it's always up and active so you get the most out of the farm. Now let me show you how to build it. Take the items that you have collected and start off by coming to the front middle of the location and place a block right there. Now come to 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3 and place a double chest to the left just like that. Come again to the middle, 1, 2, 3 and place a double chest to the right just like that. Now we want to make double chest but in zigzag just like this. And we want to make 16 double chest out just like this. And we're going to do the same here with zigzag with the double chest and we're going to do this as well 16 double chest to the back and it should look like this 16 double chest to the back side now what we're going to do is to place the hopper so come to the outside right here and place it on the last chest block right here and make sure you're facing the chest and we're going to place 16 hoppers on this side and 16 on the other side so it's for one hopper for every single chest and let's do the same on this side. Come to the other side and place it on the last chest block right here. And make sure you are facing the chest. Just like this. Okay, let's place the rails. Before we place the rails, we want to place a bridge in the middle of the farm. So it's a lot easier to build this farm. So I wanted to build up five blocks from this one. One, two, three, four and five and then just build all the way across to the last chest over here just like that now we are going to place the rails so come to the hoppers and place the rails on top of the hoppers just like this and put it on every single hopper on this side and the other side as well and that should look like this now place a block on the grass block right there and keep it going on every single rail all the way onto the other side and it should look like this now come up on the platform and place one block on each grass block just like this all the way around just place one block on each grass block in towards the center and do the same thing on the other side and it should look like this now what we're going to do is to place some solid blocks and i'm going to go with brick so go out two blocks from each grass block just like this on this side and on the right side over there so just do this side just like i'm showing right here and then do the same on that side and it should look like this now what we're going to do is to come and mine on every single first block of solid block right here the closest to the dirt or well the glass block on this side just like this and let's go to the other side as well and do the same, same right here. Break these that are the closest to the dirt. And then from here, we're going to go back, but we're going to place the observers and make sure the line, well, the, um, this figure is pointing to this block right here. And just try to aim at the dirt, the grass block right there and place them and see there I place it wrong so just collect it and try to place it more down to the block and it will work better just like this and let's do the same on this side over here remember try to do low on the dirt block and it will work fine okay just like that now we're going to place some dispensers. Come back to this corner right here and place the dispensers when you're crouching on top of the observers right here all the way to the end and do the other side as well. 
do this one first and let's see if I can jump over just like that and place them on top of the observers here too just like this and then we're going to place the redstone the redstone we're going to place on the solid block right here that are on um, behind the dispensers just like this it is a little bit tricky because you need to balance between the blocks but it went well and let's do the same on this side just like this just try to not fall down but it will it's going well and just like that now we're going to place some minecarts with hoppers and how we place the minecart with the hopper is on top of this rail right there and it will appear just like that now you need to place it on every single rail that you have on this side and the other side and in total will be 32. it is a little bit expensive but in the long term it is going to be worth it and it is going to look like this now grab the glass and we are going to go and surround these minecarts with glass so put two blocks right there and let's place blocks on well under the observers right here all the way around to this corner and place two blocks just like that that we did on the other side and now place under these glass and grass blocks just like that like so and do the same here place two blocks right there now crouch and place on every single observers just like this and let's grab to the corner right here place two blocks just like that and now place under the grass blocks again and grab another stack just like this and now we are going to come up here and do some here and we are going to build up two blocks right here and we're going to build up one glass block on each dispenser right here and on the other side as well but let's just do this side first and then we'll do the other one build this one up two blocks as well and now we are going to leave this one closest to this dispenser um untouched so place glass on the second grass block from the dispenser so go back and forth just like we did with everything else and we are going to then do the other side exactly just like this one so come to this side build this one up two blocks just like that and then fill all of the dispensers well on top of them with glass block just like this and then build up two blocks right here leave this one untouched and place glass blocks on the second grass block from the dispenser just like this because on this one block um inside that we haven't that is untouched is where the um sheep will be and there we have it now we have all of the glass done now what we need to do is to bring the sheep to the farm and then lead them into these holes that we have made how you do that is by coming to this bridge right here and making another path to these farms right here so just go to your farm that you already made with the sheep and just grab one of them bring it out and close that one so no one disappears and just lead the sheep to the hole just like that now what we need to do is to put one sheep in each chamber and by that just go and grab another one and bring them to each chamber right here make new bridges and you will be all fine now when we have transported all 32 sheep, we want to pick what colors we would like to use in this farm. I'm going to pick one of every color, well almost every color at least, but uh, if you like just black and white you can keep these that you have, you don't need to do anything special with it, but I am going to show you how you can change colors on the sheep. But first off, I'm going to show you what colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use all of these colors, I'm not going to say it out because it's going to take forever. But I'm going to use them anyway. So first off, I'm going to take all of the wool out of this chest and place them underneath, as you saw in the beginning, right under here. But before that, let's take this one away because it is kind of annoying and ugly. And it is gone. Finally gone. Okay, let's do the <laughs> wool floor. Okay, so how you do that is by digging two holes away from the chest, just like this. 
and on this side as well just like this and it should be one two three one three hold in between and do that all the way to the back side and when we have done that we are going to put the colors down that we would like up here and i'm going to have two white and the rest of the colors i'm gonna fill in and have one each and in the end it's gonna look like this let me show you how to change the color of the sheep take the dye that you would like to use make your own way up to the farm i'm going to just put down some blocks and take some ladders up to the farm and just put a block right between here so I can walk up on the glass. Take the die that you would like to use and then right click it on the sheep. Right now I can't because it is already white. So I'm going to go to my next sheep that is going to be brown. Take out the brown die and right click it and it will transform. Do the same with the other ones. Just take out the die and right click it onto the sheeps. And I'm going to do this to every single one of these right here now when that is done we need to place shares in the dispensers for that we need 64 iron ingots minimum to make 32 shares for every single uh, chambers of sheep that is quite a lot if you don't have an iron golem farm if you would like a tutorial how to make one i'll leave that in the top right corner on the screen right now or down below in the description so you can click on that in the end of this episode so you can make that one so it doesn't get as expensive all you need to do now is to place the share into the dispenser right there and in each dispenser on this side and in the other side minimum one or more if you would like it to last longer without filling in more and the wool farm are done and all you need to think about now is refill with the shares in the dispensers now and then for the farm to work thank you so much for watching and please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos just like this one without any further ado i'll see you in the next one